Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, something exciting today. Uh, me and I got Liam behind the camera. And we've got a little cannon here. Kind of helping, I guess. Uh, so yeah, something exciting today. I've been waiting on this. I've been talking about it in previous videos. We finally got a new hunting blind. Yay! This is actually a... Tidewe, or Tideway, I don't know exactly how you say that name, but it's a hunting blind. It is a three to four person blind, so it's a lot, I don't want to say a lot, but it's going to be a lot bigger than what we're used to. So actually we'll have more room to kind of move around and actually uh, film a lot better probably. So I'm going to be unboxing it right quick. It's a pop-up blind. But no, it's we a, don't need knives. We need hammer. That's for the ground stakes. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to unbox it right quick. Comes in nice. And it's, this blind actually cost, I think it was like one, it was on sale, I think, for Black Friday. Uh, I think I bought it, it was like $159.99, which That's normally it's like. That's a good price. For this size of blind, yeah. It's like. For this size of blind, yeah. $159.99. That was with free shipping. It was on Amazon. Uh, I've never tried any Tideway, Tidewe, I don't know exactly how you say that, sorry. Never tried any of their products yet. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of people who have, I've seen the videos and they seem to be pretty good. So I'm hoping this deer blind, it's got a silent door open and silent door close. Of course, it's also got silent window open and close where they slide instead of a zipper. So that'll help us out a lot in the blind, uh, not make as much noise, but um, it's, it looked really good. Also, and I can't wait to see this when it's on the inside, it's actually see-through material. Oh, but can't wait to see scary that. The only thing dark. about it is like, yeah, we're, we, me and Liam were talking about that the other day. I was like, that's going to be awesome. I said, yeah, except for when we're sitting there at like 4 o'clock in the morning and a deer just, <laughs> a deer body just comes <laughs> right by the window. But of course, I'm sure it probably has to have light in order for us to see through it. But I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's this funny thing was it's been... It's been like 70 degrees all day. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon. And it's like it started, uh, it dropped like 20 degrees because the sun went behind a cloud. It's weird. So, like, we're all sitting out here in shorts and stuff and shivering and stuff. It's weird. Yeah. How are you shivering? But, uh, yeah. So, this is what it comes in. Uh, we're sitting up here. We're actually the hunting ground was literally right there so it was also uh, three deer Don't yeah we did spook off three deer was that that big doe and those and two more fawns yeah. but there's one look at it oh yes it looks glorious it looks cool. mm -hmm. so but i will say this uh we're gonna probably what well, we're gonna do is we're gonna replace where we're at because we have another spot that we want down that way uh to set up but this late in the season, we're probably going to save that one for next season. Plus, uh, I found out that Moultrie has like some deals going on some cameras, so I'm going to probably wind up buying some more cameras and stuff. So next season, it's going to be epic. Um, yes. But and I'm probably going to be replacing that blind. I may either keep that blind for something, or I may give it away. I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe even give it away to one of you guys. Never know. Um, be the new Mr. Beast, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, instead, instead of giving money though, I give like old deer hunting equipment anyway. Um, so yeah, what we're probably gonna do is if you can see down there at that blind where it's in front of those trees, we're probably gonna back it up a little further because this one is bigger. So, probably what I'm going to do is back it up against these trees here. Uh, that way it'll kind of camouflage a little bit. We'll have a little bit longer of a shot, but only by about another 10 yards. So instead of shooting 17 yards, we'll be shooting 27 to 30 yards. But we've already shot that far before, so we're good. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's getting kind of chilly. Uh, so we're going to get down here, try to get this thing set up and get the old blind taken out of there. Uh, I'm going to change out some batteries on the camera. And I'm going to change out the batteries on the deer feeder. Hopefully, we still have enough deer corn. I was thinking we should have went and got, bought some more deer corn. Yeah. Because, I mean, I just filled that, what, last week or the week before? So, I'm hoping it still has a decent amount of deer corn in it. I mean, I think I see some deer corn on the ground. So, But if not, looks like and me and Debbie, or my wife, are planning on coming up here probably Saturday, maybe going on an afternoon hunt. Maybe. 
uh, but if not, I won't be going hunting until next, next week anyway, so, um, plenty of time to get some more corn and stuff, but yeah, we're going to start getting that unboxed, uh, we'll kind of show you going through and doing some setup whenever we get down there and we're ready to set it up, and especially when we set it up, we will go inside the blind and show you what it looks like, hopefully, I'm hoping the pictures online looked epic about how it, you can see through it and everything like that. Yeah, like the which, YouTube videos. Yeah, it looked awesome so i'm hoping that's what it looks like and i can't wait to see it so we better get it set up because like i said we only got about well we still got like an hour of light left but yeah still. but it's not that much for a hunting stuff no but, and this isn't but this is a pop-up blind as well this isn't you know this is also a pop-up blind but this is a three to four person pop-up blind that's only like a one to two person blind so this one is a lot bigger now it's not taller like the one that i wanted to buy was from black hawk blinds which was actually about 20 or 30 dollars more expensive but it was a three to four person blind but it was taller so i could have actually stood up to shoot my bow rather than still having to sit down with this one but i went with this one which amazingly enough these blinds and their equipment is really i guess really really popular because whenever i went to buy this one the night before Oh, I guess we are out of corn. Oh, dang, we are out of corn. The deer feeder's going off, and it's not throwing out any corn. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I only have that thing set to to uh, feed twice a day. Dang, that thing throws out more corn than I thought. Yeah. But it has been, like, two weeks. Yeah, so... It's, yeah, I probably need... Unless it's, like, stuck, but we'll check. But, yeah, so it looks like I probably need to buy some more corn, guys. But anyway, what I was saying is like uh, I went to buy this. I thought it was a deer stuck. Somewhere. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was like a deer snorting or snort wheezing or, or something. Or like was trapped in something. Yeah, but it was. We could, then we could hear the motor going. So, yeah. but anyway, what I was saying when I went to buy this thing uh, the night before I bought it, actually I had to wait two days before I could buy it because there was one left on the Amazon off, and they or they ship it from Tideway whenever you buy it. So I went to buy it through Amazon and the next day that morning like literally like eight hours later and it was sold out and so they only had the two to three person blind but I wanted the three to four person blind well I literally had to wait I think it was like two days and it notification popped up that they had them back in stock and I bought it well I must have bought the only one that they had just come back in stock with because it took like three weeks for this thing to get here I bought this thing on a early Black Friday thing, like two, like, what was it? Amazon was doing early Black Friday sales for Prime members, like on the 14th of November. And I bought it before Thanksgiving and it took like three weeks to get here. So they must've just made this one and got it back in stock and then shipped it out to me. So I'm excited to have, we just got it a few days ago. So we first chance we've got to come out here and set it up. So. We're going to get going on this, guys, and we'll pick you up whenever we're getting it set up. See you in the next clip. All right, guys, here we go. Set up. Like I said, it looks a lot bigger than our old one right there. Yeah. Um, like I said, I got good. it out of the bag. It already looks awesome. Now, I mean, I like the coloring on that one a little bit better for right now because this is more of like your real tree forest camo. So, I mean... This may take them a couple days to really get used to because that one, if you look at that one, the coloring on that one is like a darker color. Yeah, kind of kind of So, I mean, it like kind of woods. fits in with this time of year but, when all the leaves and stuff are dead. But they'll get used to this one. So, just like any other... Oh, I cannot not see you no more. He's been eaten by the deer tent. The deer tent is eating him. Okay. So, you first, you find your roof and you pull it up. And... It's kind of a tutorial, too, at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Then you go around each side. So it's hard if it's kind of rocky, on. guys. Okay. We need the stakes. No, I just need to make sure I stand on it. Need some help? Oh. Normally I don't, but... The viewers would like to see this. There we go. And you just go around each side. First, you always put... How dare he? Uh, you always, right. You always, you always pop out your roof first, and then you go around and slowly go to each side and pop those out. Yeah. And then it'll, you know, once you get one side out, it kind of helps you out. Yeah. And you just go in here. That looks pretty big, though, doesn't it? It does. Once, wait, it sounds it. weird when I say that, though, so make sure that this is for no kids. Jesus. Jesus. 
Oh yeah, this thing's big. Sorry guys, I'm trying to walk down for six too. Well, I mean, I'm not 100% right now. Yeah. I've, for anybody who doesn't know, which I know most of you probably don't, I am afflicted with MS or multiple sclerosis and I have flare-ups every once in a while and the last week or so the reason I haven't uploaded any videos in the last week or so is because I have, have been having a flare-up so that's why it looks like I'm off balance is MS attacks your central nervous system kind of shuts down my leg mobility and stuff right now but I'm on medication for it and it's just going to go away and it's going away already but still just not 100% yet so here it looks like this is the back you can kind of already see so I mean, but you can look through there oh my god see that see-through material that looks awesome oh yes and it is a lot bigger but like what i really you like about it, see it there because we, it's kind of hard for us to see but it's better for you guys to see yeah i mean at least we'll be able to like record through it a lot better yeah so i'm gonna turn this around and uh I'm gonna get it staked to the ground and then go and then we'll go it. inside and show you guys so catch you in a minute okay guys We've got the deer blind set up, and if you can't tell, I am sitting in it. We've got it all set up in here, and look at that. This is so exciting. To be able to see through it. Like I said, we can we can film through this stuff probably a little bit better, but you see how big this thing is? Like, I can stand up in this thing. I mean, I'm just a little taller to get a good shot with it, but... It's taller than I thought. So, I mean, this thing is huge. Oh, I mean, I'm, we're, I have the two chairs sitting, like, right in the middle. So, I mean. Yeah, so, if we don't have to take the chairs down. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I could pull my chair off to the right. I mean, but when I have my tripod set up for filming and everything like that, it's going to be great. And like I said, like I said, and it's silent windows. So, you just pull those down. It pull them down and then like door. i said it is a silent door but it's not like when we're not going to be in here there's a zipper but then there's those little loops that you hook on to the uh poles over here to make it silent so that's cool but yeah it, this one is a lot bigger and a lot better and the material is a way more it's synthetic really warm. It's really warm. it actually cuts out the heat i mean the coldness too so i mean so it looks like it's just mesh, but it's not. Like I said, it's like a, a really cool woven material. But I mean, yeah, we'll open the window right quick and kind of show you what we're working with. Like I said, they have silent open and close windows. You guys want to make sure that your thing is on here. But there's what we're looking at and like i said we may have to i mean that that's just one window yeah, in yeah. the front and then i can cover like the whole area yeah. like i can shoot off this direction Maybe. all the way over to my side i mean and i've got two more big windows and a little beep peep window in the back but <laughs> but yeah and we found out the deer feeder is empty so oh, oh. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks. But, yeah, we'll have to go buy some corn and stuff and come back out here. But, yeah, this is awesome. Today? No, it won't be today. It'll be probably another day or two. I'll have to make a trip up here this weekend if we don't go hunting on Saturday. That way I can fill it back up. I mean, luckily, deer feed's only $10 a bag. But I might have to change my feeder times because... It's going through a lot. It's going... I mean, well, I mean, but, I mean, if you think about it, like... I was going through a bag or two a week, and now, I mean, three bags last me two, two and a half weeks, so. That's still kind of a lot. I'm, that's not that bad, though. I mean, just how much it's throwing out, too. And you got to also think, the deer know how to get the feed out of that. They know where it's at, because I've caught pictures of them at the feeder with their nose up to the little turntable so they're probably turning it when we're not here too and getting more feed out of it so and eating it directly out of the feeder so upsides and downsides i mean it does last longer than it normally does but still but i will say this i am looking into getting another feeder 
uh, and it's probably going to be a Moultrie feeder. Uh, and I think it holds up to 300 pounds or I may go with the, um, this is the wild game innovation quick set 225. So it'll hold up to 225 pounds of corn, but they have uh, like a 250 or something like that, or maybe a 300. I can't remember which one it is. And it's like another 50 bucks more higher than this one. And it holds like 300 to 350 pounds of corn. So, I mean, this one's done us pretty good. The only thing is it is, you get what you pay for on a lot of this stuff. So, I mean, it is all plastic, which I think at the end of this season, when I get my taxes and everything, I'm going to look at ways to upgrade that one. Cause it is still a good feeder. I may see if I can get like some rivets, um, instead of like some screws with some, uh, washers and some nuts on the other side to replace the little pop, How dare he? pop screws that are on those because they're cheaply made. Uh, I may look into getting like one of those little cages that goes over the actual feeder, the little uh, spin dial down there. That way they can't spin it and get more feed out of it. That's one big thing. They they make those for that. Now, if I get like a mold tree feeder, they come with that. So I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm still feel, feeling out all this new stuff. Um, I'm just now getting to where I can afford to buy more of this stuff. So like I said, this, but I will say about this deer blind, this is one heck of a deer blind, guys. It is awesome. I mean, I'm sad that I didn't find this one last year. Like I said, uh, we will definitely be putting this thing to the test upcoming pretty soon when we go hunting. So stay tuned, guys. Like I said, we got to still uh, change out the, the batteries in the deer, the camera. But okay, guys, that is that. We got the batteries changed out in the... Um, the, the trail camera we are almost out of corn in the deer feeder so i'll have to find a way to get some more not find it i just gotta go get some more so uh probably within the next couple days even if i don't go hunting this weekend i will fill the deer feeder like i said previously um like i said that deer blind is awesome i can't wait to like hunt in it, hunt in it and video through it and see through it it's gonna be awesome um i'm so excited i, I am too like I said, it, it's awesome. Like I said, that is the Tideway, or Tidewe. I'm not real sure exactly how you say it. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I, like I said, I've seen a ton of other content creators and other YouTube videos and stuff like that of people using it. So, uh, uh, their gear, not this specific deer blind, but I've seen people use their gear and obviously they got some great gear. Uh, but I bought them on Amazon. I think you can buy them even in some stores, uh, but Amazon is your best bet. Um, like I said, I will, uh, definitely, I would right now, and we do have some weather coming in in the next few days and stuff like that. I did put the tie downs down, so I will definitely be kind of seeing how well that does when I come out here going hunting after that and stuff and it stays there. Right now, I want to give this thing like a five-star review. This thing is awesome. So, uh, love it i'm looking to trade and i have a ton of their their uh gear and stuff in my wish list and in, in uh on amazon so i plan on t testing out some more of their stuff but this is the first thing i've ever bought through tidewee and it seems to be awesome right now the the material of the blind the look at it it looks exactly like it did online when you're looking through the blind you can see through it and i'm sure it probably looks a lot better when it's during the day not at the end of the day when there's not that much light but like I said, we set that deer blind up just a little bit further back. So it'll be about probably a 30 yard shot now instead of like a 20 yard shot. But amazingly enough, like I was saying, the only thing I didn't like about it was the color of it because it looked more like a deep forest. Uh, and but the funny thing was where we set it up right under that old dead tree, it's like even better camouflage than uh, the old one was where it was sitting. So. And honestly, we may have better luck with that than we did with it, the old one. So we're a little bit further back, so we're not encroaching as much in there. So it's going to be good. Like I said, stay tuned, guys. Uh, like I said, if there's any other content you want to see, and I will be reviewing other stuff. Like I said, some more cameras and stuff going on. I will be reviewing a lot of that stuff. Um, but right now, I will say the Tideway or Tidewee um, deer blind is awesome, and I give it a five-star review. You should go buy one. Like I said, just look them up on Amazon. And you'll be able to find their stuff. So, uh, if there's anything you guys want to know, any kind of content you want to see, let me know in the comments. Uh, just say hey, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned, guys. We've got more hunting videos and also fishing videos and stuff going on. So, we'll catch you later, guys.